So here we are, um, video I've been waiting to do for a very long time, my first home tour. As you can see, this is my first home. Um, it's not your conventional two up, two down. It is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful 56 foot Sandpiper narrowboat. So quick whistle stop tour of the backstory. Um, it was my father's boat, um, had it for years and years and years. The boat's about 16 years old. It went into a bit of a disrepair um, and I've spent near enough, I think a year now, um, doing it up, renovating it both in and out. So I'm extremely pleased to share with you all um, all the progress that has happened. So without further ado, welcome aboard. Come and have a look. So back here we have the cruiser stern, what's called a cruiser stern. That's a bit different to a narrow boat stern. It allows more people to stand up as uh, you're chugging across the cup. Um, and it's more of a social stern, so I really love this. Everything here is pretty much renovated. Um, so um, the tiller here, uh, engine room door, the shoreline is all new. Um, so let's have a look at the inside. Come on. So here we are in the master bedroom. Um, this room looked um, a lot different uh, the, than what it looks like now. Um, under the stairs that I came in on, you have the washing machine and the tumble dryer in the right hand side of the stairs as well. Um, they're both a one kilogram load, um, you know, enough for a pair of pants and a couple of socks, um, but we'll get there. Um, so here we have the five um, set of chest of drawers. Um, all fully renovated, um, pretty much bespoke at this point. Um, the handmade clay face as well. And this is something that I love. This is a to-do list. And as you can see, it's pretty much um, a mess. Um, so that's, I, ha I had to frame that and kind of encompass all of the hard work that has gone into this boat. Here you have the bed. Um, it's, I think it's a half double, which means it's sort of between a double and a single. Um, but it's brilliant, you've got the side lights in here um, and they're great, they actually weren't working so they've been renovated as well. Underneath here you have some fantastic storage. Um, these bad boys, these have been a lifesaver. So in the mornings, you know, it gets light about 5 a.m. Um, and these are all handmade porthole covers. Um, sim simple pop on and he says a simple pop on as well. Um, Throughout the boat you have the radiators that you can see here and that's powered by the diesel engine that was in the stern um, under the engine room and that's powered by an Eberspatcher heater that also heats the water as well um, and all that had to be um, renovated and sorted out um, throughout the project. Here we go. Um, it's a narrow boat so it gets narrow here and kind of get our idea of what the boat's going to look like but um, I want that to be a bit of a surprise. So here's one of my favourite rooms and um, this is the bathroom. Let's have a look. So, um, you know, this isn't a duplex of a bathroom. It's not um, a mile wide, but it definitely does the trick. So, um, again, one of my favorite rooms in the, uh, in the boat. Um, brand new flooring, uh, again, geometric tiles. Um, bespokely cut worktop here as well. Um, and all new plumbing uh, for the sink, uh, the taps, new piping. Some of the piping, the um, old piping was just a mess, so that all had to be replumbed, um, and all the fixtures had to be new and make sure that water pressure, with because this is a whole uh, pressurised system, make sure that pressure is kept up. But as you can imagine, there were many scenes of water flying everywhere, and um, that was an absolute pleasure. It's just crazy to think of what it was like before. Um, so yeah, let's carry on with the tour. Um, so here we have the wardrobe uh, that has the majority of my um, hanging clothes in. And here's the control panel for the boat. Um, pretty much the heart and soul of the boat. Uh, you know, turning on the fuses for the lights, uh, the water pump, headlight and horn, uh, the shower pump, uh, the radio and 12 volt speakers throughout. Um, and the 12 volt. All our electricity and power comes through the shoreline that I showed you at the beginning, the long orange cable. Um, so let's carry on. So heading on through the boat, um, you get to the middle of the boat. This is something that I love. Um, the hats, the side hats, you know, after dinner um, or after lunch or even in the mornings, you can throw bread out to the ducks and there's fish in here that are literally like the size of cows. It's ridiculous. Here is the galley kitchen. Um, so 
don't even know where to start with this. This was completely different. So all these worktops are brand new, all bespoke to fit in. Um, again, I had to plumb in the taps and the sinks, uh, all new taps. This is now drinking water, hot water, drinking water, um, you know, the standard, the knife racks, the bread bin. This is a gas stove, um, which is fantastic. Um, as it's on a narrow boat, it's kind of small, um, but you know, it's just a gas stove works really well. This is safety glass, it stays up if you want to use it, stays down if you don't. Coming round, all this is all new bespoke um, and renovated uh, with the blue paint and the vinyl um, tile flooring. With any renovation um, on a boat, I think people forget to understand that no boat you know, has straight lines. So if you're doing a renovation on a house, you know the walls are straight pretty much. Um, and things can go down fairly easily. With a boat, every wall is slightly curved and offset. Um, so every cut, whether it's a worktop, or whether it's vinyl flooring, has to be a bespoke cut. So that took a long time to do. Lovely bamboo blind that we just put up. Um, hanging fruit um, bag with um, clementine, lemon and limes. Uh, Russell Hobbs, all the sort of, you know, the kettles um, and any sort of appliances are all in these lovely storage here. Um, our beautifully fully stocked fridge. Up here is our glass cabinet. On the left here you have a helmet. Uh, the boat is called Old Ironsides um, after, well there's two things, after Oliver Cromwell but after also HMS Britannia. Um, so that's a sort of an ode to that. Um, and on the side you've got lots of alcohol. Cool. Um, <laughs> carrying on um, into the dinette area. Um, this is a dinette which means it also turns into a, a bed. It's again a sort of a half double that can comfortably fit two people there. Um, so this table folds down into a bed and the cushions fold in. Again, uh, new flooring there. Um, the table, um, to be honest, it looks kind of caravan-y. So we've just sanded that and bleached that and to give it sort of a nice rustic look. So heading into the living space, the living room, the lounge. Um, this is one of the best spaces. Um, again, the walls are lined with art and all the things that I like. Um, the phrenology hair, the pampas grass, um, some artwork that I've done myself, um, stuff we got from Vietnam. Um, here's the IKEA sofa, uh, again, sort of heart of the lounge. Um, this is a great space to come after work and just crash out and, you know, smash your face full of pasta. Moving over to this corner, um, you've got the library, which is, you know, just a cabinet full of my books. Um, but that's a really cool space as well. And that light lights up at, um, at night as well. Um, again, all that's pretty much fully renovated. The TV um, connected to the Huawei um, Wi-Fi, but also works as an Alexa. So, you know, music throughout the boat and also Wi-Fi. So Netflix on tap, pretty much. One super special thing um, that I love about this lounge is obviously during the day when it's a sunny day like this, um, really, really bright. Um, but in the evenings, maybe when it's a bit colder, uh, you can put on the warm lit um, side lights and the um, electrical candles that are super nice, have the log uh, fire burning, and also um, the handmade curtains here, the blinds, sorry. Um, you can just really easily pop those off, roll it down, and these are blackout uh, blinds. Um, so you can black out the whole of the boat um, and it just transforms into such a beautiful, warm and cozy space. Heading to the bow of the boat, um, you have the outside space um, right next to my lovely, a beautiful log burner. So this bad boy, um, again, was here for 16 years when the boat was built. Uh, this was fully restored up. The whole thing was covered in rust. Um, wasn't able to use because there was stuff all in this flue. Um, so we cleared that out. Um, and I can't wait to use it this winter. Here, um, the bow of the boat. Um, this is probably one of, again, my favorite spaces. I, I feel like at this point, I've said this for every single room, one of my favorite parts of the boat. I think every part of the boat is my favorite part. Um, but yeah, this, this is the bow of the boat. Um, again, astroturfed, um, the flooring. We'll obviously new all uh, furniture out here. You know, have some very lovely sunset drinks, um, some wine in the evening. It's been such, uh, surreal project I think it's been literally days and nights blood sweat and tears um, have gone into this boat um, I'm very thankful to my friends and family that have 
helped out with this project. I think now is the time that you can actually start enjoying the space. But as I say, I think this is for friends and family who wanted to see the boat, but I hope in a way that I may inspire some people to look at alternative lifestyles, whether it's, you know, a, a van or a school bus or a boat or a yacht. Um, there are other things out there. I'm, I'm very privileged and grateful um, to be able to move out the the nest at 20 um, and live on my own 56 foot um, boat paradise and avoid rent and kind of all the rest of it. Um, so very, very grateful to be here um, and a very good place to end the video. Thanks for watching. Here we are in the side of the boat. What? What? <laughs> <laughs>